Oh man, I don't know if you saw that whining coming from Boston. Oh no. <laughs> So good. Have you ever heard a fan base cry and whine more oh my for fights they lost? First of all, yep. they've started like every one of these altercations. They, right. Listen, you know what that is? That is the epitome of living rent free in somebody's head, <laughs> where they feel like they got to come in and set the tone and get a whole bunch of penalties because they don't know how to do it. How about how about there that dude Maroon is just trying to get into Bob's head before the game, and you're not gonna. He's too focused. Really, is. <laughs> what a waste of time that is. He goes, "Hey, do your research. Dude. Hey, hey, Bob Rufsky, whatever your name is. Hey, look over here. What? They didn't see. That's, up, that's, right? What are you doing? Like, like, leave me alone. Took a you're chuck. You're not gonna fight me during the game. You're down. Took a chuck and Bennett. This is called Tuesday. Yeah. Right. And they're trying they're trying to make this a thing. I'm like, this is normal everyday life for this team. What are you doing? The guys like they're I mean, I've never seen Boston. They're they're so upset Marshan got taken out of a game. It's like it's his fault. He ran into a fist. Oh, it was a dirty hit. Wait, so let me get this straight. Sam he Bennett to, is just supposed to, to let my ass get kicked. Right. So they're mad at Sam Bennett because Marshan went over to give him the business, and he got hurt. I'm sorry I ran into a counter punch. I'm sorry. My bad. I didn't realize I was I was supposed to let you hit me. Ridiculous, dude. I, I, so it, glad to have him back. It me. is. Oh, man. The the, the, the the Lorax has shown out, dude. Oh, I mean, he is out is there. That, is that his name? I don't think it's his name, but he looks like the Lorax. <laughs> I've does. seen it in Panthers Twitter, and I mean, they're right. Spot on. <laughs> okay. He looks like he speaks for the trees. Okay. Oh, man. But like yesterday, I'm tuning into TNT afterwards. They're like, "All right, Bennett, you know what you did. You know what you did." He goes, "What did I do? What? The, what exactly? What did I do? Again, you again. know what you did, Bennett. They want like they wanted Bennett to like throw his mercy and be like, you know what? You're right, guys. The series is even two two. Sorry. Again, like they're trying to make this a big deal, and everybody in the Panthers is just business as usual." Like, you can't beat a team like that when you're looking for some reason to say they're dirty or whatever. Go look at the other 80-plus games they've played. Yeah, that's how they've been. But the thing that's been funny about it the entire time is the cat. The Cats have them so rattled because they keep trying to get revenge, but they keep losing. Right. They've right. lost so many fights, and right. it's it's just adorable to say, but you guys are a bunch of hockey casuals it's like hey i'm i'm watching you guys casually get your ass kicked by the score and by fights everything uh, how here's what's gonna happen you ready i know how this works somebody either on a boston team or the coaching staff is gonna say these words for the last couple of games we've been trying to play their game and we have to just go out and play our game it's coming it's coming oh so it took you three games it took you three games to realize you can't fight them boys yeah you can't fight them and then how about your own crowd is begging you they're chanting shoot the puck shoot <laughs> the puck you know how embarrassing that is like the cats are doubling you up on shots i mean we've lived that we lived that down here Woof. Oh yeah, it's I brutal. That. It's brutal. The passing around the outside on the power play. Ugh. But I'm so proud of our boy Barky because that used to be him. Ooh, that used to be him, and he just said, "You want him? Oh, I'm going. I'm going coast to coast with this mother bleeper, oh. all by my lonesome." Yeah, that guy just has like. I mean, he does. He does some. I mean, incredible things. Right. Incredible. <laughs> He's just like falling away, winning the face off, yeah. taking this all the way. Gonna gonna outman you. And then falling away, shot for the win, like it's nothing. And I, and you want to know something? Couldn't even enjoy it on the national broadcast because they were belly aching the entire <sighs> oh, time. Okay. Still about Sam Bennett. The team's down three two. They're still talking about goalie interference. Oh, he got pushed it. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey uh, O'Keefe, I found something here. It's like, what? Why are you talking like that? Because I love Boston. And let me see here. Rule book. 
Uh, page 79, uh, passage 6A, it says if you interfere with somebody, that that means the goal shouldn't count. Well, why did it count for Bennett? I'm like, hey. Are you still on this? You ready for Again? this? Somebody sent a, t- uh, a stat, Dr. Remulak. Bruins have 48 shots on goal in three games. The Panthers had 42 yesterday. <laughs> I mean, okay. Like, you can put whatever you – you can put whatever nonsense you want on TV. Put that up. Put that up. <laughs> hey, you see this here? It says if a penalty – isn't called against Boston, that means it's against the rules because Boston should get all the breaks back here close on TNT Nesson. He didn't really shove him all that hard. He wasn't going to do anything anyway. The goal was wide open. Damage is done. Sorry. Ridiculous. They just wouldn't stop talking about it. And, And you missed one of the greatest goals you've ever seen from Barkov. Because you're still here talking about the rule book. Enough of you guys already. And and you know what I love? I love when they go to the 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 main uh, place that they're reviewing this, mm-hmm. and they say the same exact thing. So yeah. you ain't gonna do nothing about it. Yeah, it ain't it, like it ain't gonna never get overturned. You can throw a flag. You can you can. It ain't gonna never get overturned. And then after all that. You have them check the play, and then you have to go on another power play. Yeah, great, great coaching by this Montgomery. He seems what like you, he's really what, gonna hold you, on. You, you almost have to, though, right? I mean, do you? You have to review that. I don't think so. I mean, like it, it, the the they would tell you waste of time, and you went and you went on the power play for no reason. Right. Ridiculous. I'm tired of Boston. I can't wait. Top hats and monocles. Out for Tuesday, everybody. Get ready. Wear your white gloves. Wear your white gloves. Very gentlemanly. Bring your gin, oh, Leroy. Like that guy, wait, wait. The, like that guy? Like that guy who came in with the uh, cup? Yeah. Oh. Exactly. What's that dude's name? <laughs> I don't like, know. Like something. I don't know. Keeper of the cup. Yeah, he said there's like three of them, though, right? There's three guys. Yeah, there's three guys. That's, uh, but, you know, he's got, he's got, uh, he's got joint custody. They're all over the world too. That's amazing. I forget his name. Oh, it is a keeper of the cup. Mike. There's there's Mike. Phil. You said there's three? Yeah, his name was Mike. Oh, I know God, it was God, Mike God. something. Mike something. It's a oh, man, you're furiously going at that keeper. Did you like that? Yeah, right? I really want to know. Like, uh, guys, I'm doing research. Somebody Mike. said Mike Bolt. Oh, I was gonna say Mike Bolt. That's the name I got. Sounds about right. Yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah. Mike Bolt. So we can't. So question. Because last year they came in with the cup and everybody in our studio had a love fest with it. We hmm. can't go nowhere near it this year, right? Do you want to uh play that game this year? Like you want to be in a spot it. where we are not uh we're not gonna talk, we're not gonna touch the cup. We will not turn down the cup. No, nope, nothing on the cup. We're so not you don't even it. want it here. I don't even want it here. So not until you win it. I want to hear when you win it, but that's it. So if Gutland says no nope. Are you just not going to come in? Because I'm going to do it. I don't believe in that stuff. What? Of course you don't, you mush. I don't believe in that stuff. You're selfish, too. The mush I'm never believes in hey, last year. The mush never believes in mushiness, it's right? Pretty, <laughs> well, like, it, it hasn't changed. And the Panthers haven't won it yet. It's right. So pretty, though. You're going to want to see it after they win. When we're in the parade, we're going to be in convertible. Just think about it. Convertible? Mm. Yeah, like... Are you gonna just let your tongue fly like dolphin? Uh... <laughs> oh, catch flies. Catch a... <laughs> this happen? We're gonna be out west, so there's a lot of flies out west. Close to the Everglades, my home. Yeah. Headlines brought to you by the new Palmetto Ford Truck Super Center. Why buy a truck at a car store? Palmetto Ford. We know trucks. Man. Hey, well, hmm? your boy won yesterday. Who? Who? He knows what I'm talking about. Brooks Kapka. No, he uh, knows Rory. Yeah, Rory. Oh, oh, what did he win? The man. non-major, <laughs> the minor. <laughs> right in time for a major. I'm sure he'll win back-to-back weeks. Hmm. He, the last time he won a major, he did. Okay, what was that? A decade ago? Exactly a decade ago. I oh. saw that uh, Tiger Woods. They put this up on Sports Center. He's at a place called Valhalla. Like they have Viking Heaven. This is what this place no, is called. No, it's the name of the golf course. You retard. 
Wait, Whoa, just... take it easy, Whoa, man. You can't hold. I don't, I don't think you can. Right, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How is a golf course in Kentucky? Whoa. <laughs> is it? Yes. Uh, yeah, but it's also Viking heaven. That's where uh, it is. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. It, 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 oh. Louisville. Yeah, Louisville. Uh, Kentucky. Right. Right I know yeah. where it is. <laughs> a lot of grass. <laughs> a lot of grass. <laughs> it's that blue grass, baby. Nice. All right, we'll take a quick break. We'll hear these uh, these bastards on TNT interrogate oh. Sam Bennett. Panthers win yesterday. They're up 3-1 in this series. They erase a 2-0 deficit, come back and win 3-2. Lundell got the scoring going. They cut the lead in half at the in the second period. Then, of course, Sam Bennett has the power play goal that is uh, – very uh, controversial amongst the Boston and national media. They're beside themselves right now because they've spent this entire time being mad at Sam you Bennett know, and the Panthers for kicking their ass. You know what that sounds like? That sounds like if that would happen to the Panthers, that would be you. Hard to say. Can't no. really, uh, <laughs> Marcos, really the Marcos, Marcos, Marcos. Like. There is no, there's no hard to say. I you think it is hard to say. You absolutely it's very unbecoming how Boston is acting. It's very <laughs> it's very un uh it's very uh, unhockey like the totally way totally not mature. It's not mature. It's not mature. Would, they haven't had their wits about them. I would say I would say this in in that um if you want to win game and, and I was shocked at this after the first period being down two nothing and Paul Maurice does his Paul Maurice thing. I tell you what. We're getting opportunities. I like where we are. Yep. I'm like, what? <laughs> and 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 lo and behold, but it, this series is just like Boston is just getting worn down because they can't match the physical nature of the Panthers without getting penalties, yep. right? And and it, it and and like you can't just all of a sudden. And here's the thing about sports. You can't just all of a sudden be tough. You either are or you aren't. Yeah. And what the Panthers have done is added a lot of tough guys to their roster. Well, that's the, and the thing that's funny is you make such a good point about that because it's like the start of game three, like Marshan's trying to goad Alexander Barkov into a fight, but he ain't a fighter. So he's it's like, stupid. he's like, no, I'm not a no. Like, there's nothing Barkov is less interested in than fighting. Right. That man is just like, I'm here to hockey. That's right. it. Right. And you know, they had this moment at the end of game two where Pastanak is like, Well, oh, coach, can I fight him? Can I please fight him, please? And he got his brains beat in by Kachuk, and everybody's mad, but it's like, you're not that guy, pal. Like, you shouldn't have tried right. to do that. And and that's and that's the point, right? You can't. You've already played 80, what, almost 90 games, right? You ain't going to be able to be something you're not. You can change game plans. You can change, but you can't change your identity right. going into one series chasing the Stanley Cup. You got to win with who you are. And then if the Panthers, like, they laid out Reinhardt early in the game, and it was play on. Reinhardt's like, eh, no bigs. Right. Reinhardt's just, he just moved it now. He did get uh, taken out by a puck. Oh, goodness. Sorry. They showed it in slow mo, and you could just uh, look, it just went. <laughs> oh, listen, I'm not going to tell any of these tough Neanderthals on skates what to do with their mouth guards, but perhaps using them, using they them don't wear them. Toys. Yeah, perhaps using them as chew toys is not the best uh, option when you have flying. They, the other, wait, he uses his as a chew toy. I don't think the other guys have one. Yeah, some don't. They, they, they don't soft. wear them. I know. I like, I, I never played a down on football without a mouthpiece. And I knew a bunch of people who didn't. Robert didn't. Oof. Never wore a mouthpiece. And that's why one time he scored a touchdown and lost a chicklet. Uh, you got TNT's uh, post game yesterday. Sam Bennett goes on the uh, the headset afterwards with the TNT crew. And uh, apparently I missed it. This was an interrogation, not an interview. Because Bennett. they're sitting there and they're like, you know what you did, Bennett. You know. The menace. Uh, it's been quite the 48 hours for you. Uh, one, do you think you got away with one? And what is it like being public enemy number one in Boston? Yeah, I mean, it's, 
I got a little taste of it last year in Toronto and, um, you know, I guess I, I'm getting kind of used to it. Um, yeah, I mean, on that play, obviously I'm not trying to, to, um, you know, punch him in, in, in the head. Um, like everyone's saying, other people can have different opinions. Um, you know, I'm just bracing myself for, for him to, coming to hit me. Um, you know, there's, there's no way I, I would have had time to think about, um, punching him in, in, in the head, but, um, you know, people can see it however they want. Uh, it's, it's playoff hockey. There's going to be, there's going to be hard plays. Um, obviously it's unfortunate he got hit, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, that's, that's just, that's just a hockey play in, uh, in my mind. Sam, I'm just going to go back to, to your answer on the original hit with Marshawn. Now, when he's coming to hit you and you've kind of come around with that right, are you just basically trying to reverse hit him? Is that what you're trying to say in a sense of a hockey play? And it just so happens that right hand gets up a little bit and that's what makes the contact? Exactly. That's that's exactly it. He's he's coming at me. Normally, I'm going to go with two hands um, to protect myself. Um, you know, coming back from from a, from an injury, I'm... I'm going to protect myself however I can. So, um, yeah, that's, that's really all that there was to it. And, um, it's it, again, like I said, it's unfortunate he, he got injured on it. Well, Sam, it's another day and we have another piece of video, uh, starring you to break down and this Jeez. was the goaltender interference and your goal. And now we're going to pour <laughs> over this for a very long time, frame by frame. Uh, let me just get your perspective on this because clearly you do get your stick into coil. Did you think that clearly. this was going to be overturned? Uh, no, I, I mean, on that one, um, it was a, a little shove and I'm, I'm putting the, the puck in the net before, um, Swayman's going to have an opportunity, whether coils in his coils in, in his grill or not. Um, I believe I'm putting that puck in, uh, before he's getting across no matter what. So I, I, I think that's, that's why it's, uh, it stood. And I, I think it was right call. You should be a lawyer. Sam, yeah, you represent <laughs> yourself. That's what you're saving wow. money. Wow. You <laughs> what a bunch Sam, of jerks. Hey. Great Thank game, you so man. Much. Hey. Did anybody say anything about the interrogation that Sam Bennett got? Oh, my goodness. Wait, wait. Wait. I have never. You heard. know what you did. I have <laughs> never heard of an interrogation like that in any school. What is oh, that, that is dude? ridiculous. It started off with. How does it feel to be the biggest enemy? And you know you got over on one, right? You know you cheated. <laughs> how does it feel to know that you hey, got over on hey, one? O'Malley, why don't you ask Bennett over here how he screwed the bees? Now, O'Keefe, why don't well, we you know, know what You know what he should have said? One. He, he should have said, I felt the same as when Tom, Ferry, Tom Brady deflated those footballs and won a Super Bowl. <laughs> that was ridiculous, though. That was no, ridiculous. That was, that was, like, I felt, wait, crazy. we're sitting here. Now, I hadn't heard this, right? At any point in time, did you say, man, this is uncomfortable? I was like, I was sitting there the entire time. I'm like, oh, Jesus. For the record, he handled it really well. Oh, he handled it, yeah, because he's just like, look at these losers out <laughs> yeah. here. I guess well, he's whining really, really, really. about it. I'm looking at the, the hit that they're talking about that they're describing as a punch, <laughs> like a wraparound punch. Right, dude. they made it sound like the dude what? was coming over and he dropped his, his stick this to give entire, him an uppercut. Yeah, this entire time, Boston was pissed about this all weekend. And they're Which like, is, again, they're, they're another dirty. thing they need to concentrate on hockey. Sam Bennett should be in handcuffs. And then they come to the TNT uh, pregame and they're like, we've received a new angle of the incident. Oh, yeah, like, what? Yeah. What is this? <laughs> Surveillance footage? Yeah, this comes from Brian O'Malley from Section 301. Uh, here's the cell phone footage. You can clearly see a punch. He knows what he did. So, so my question would have been, my question would have been this. When he would have got hurt if he didn't come over there for that smoke? No. He came over there with the intent of, of doing some dirt to give a rough hit. Uh, Bennett reacted. And when you're reacting with all that crap on, there's no, like, you can't aim. Your captain should be handling things better. And he got embarrassed in game two where Montour's yelling in his face. And he's been trying to get his get back ever since. And so he tried to get some against Bennett. He ran into a fist and he didn't play yesterday. So good for you guys. Congratulations. Keep trying to fight the Panthers. You guys keep thinking you're about that life. And you're not. This is exactly what they want. Kind of this punch. this is the biggest, like, it, it's pretty amazing 
how we all saw this coming, right? Soon as they start talking about how tough they were going to be and they got to get Sam Bennett back and what this is not going to go well for them because you are so far out of your element that you can't concentrate on hockey. It's great. Everybody's trying to hit somebody. Everybody's trying to do that. And the Panthers are like, all right. I think he's right, yeah. though, when he says, like, I don't have time to think. Punch him in the head. Like, it's. Or just got- punch. Real yeah. fast. But he's, he was right. He's like, I'm coming off of, like, he just had his hand injured. And, and he, like, he said, and he said, punch. he made a point to say, I normally put two hands up. I could only put one up. Yeah. Now it happened to be the money punch. <laughs> It happened to be the breadwinner. <laughs> yeah, it was great. I was like, Ooh. but how is that? My question is, is that when you come over to him, he didn't initiate that. No. How is that a a a, a, a bad, you know, uh, illegal play by Sam Bennett? Oh, I can. Sam tell Bennett you. didn't hunt him down. He well, hunted yeah. Sam Bennett down. I have the answer Sam to this. Yes, uh, Toby in the back. Yeah, uh, because Sam Bennett doesn't play for Boston. Oh, and because man. you don't play for Boston, we were wrong. See Moeller's tweet after the game? No. Oh, what did he say? Moeller tweeted out, geez, I thought this game was on TNT, not Nesson. Hashtag <laughs> silly me. <laughs> that was crazy, though. It really was. Moeller is Moeller's the greatest. But, it, you know, kudos to, like, kudos to Sam Bennett. Because I know a bunch of guys that would have just went off. Right? Yep. Like, Kept that was, wait, him. that was two losses ago. We still talking about this. <laughs> that was two, two losses, losses ago in the playoffs. Yeah, should you guys be over this? This was a couple ass kickings ago. We saw right. Jamal Murray get snippy after he he very visibly threw something on the court. Now this, this guy's having to defend himself. Murray's like, hey, you need to have a cooler head and throw a heating pad at Sam Bennett. <laughs> but that's, think about that. Think about this. In a game where there's more physicality, right? An NBA player who threw two things onto the court and was fined a hundred thousand dollars was able to move past it quicker than the guy in the physical sport where the guy went after him. Right? Like, uh, see, because they like, I tell you what, I dog. It's because here's where here's where we are in this series. Anything that the the uh, Bruins do, whether it's physical, illegal, or whatever, somebody is going to say, "Oh, they're just trying to match the intensity of the That's Panthers." Just walking. That's just so walking. right. So they're always going to get a pass, and anything that the Panthers do, as far as hits or whatever like that. Is going to be, oh, they're just, maybe that's a little bit excessive, right? Whereas you got a physical team, a team that's played like that all year. In fact, Paul Maurice came in here and we, we struggled with him for a half a year because he wanted his team to be more physical, to play more um, Stanley Cup uh, playoff hockey, right? We questioned it. And now that the team is that way, everybody else who is not that way, oh, he hit me too hard. They're too physical. They're pushing. And if you try to match that and you ain't that guy, it looks like it does against Boston. Boston is not a physical team. They're trying to be bo- they trying to be physical. They're trying to match it. And it doesn't even phase the Panthers. So at some point, you're going to look up and say, oh, it's 2-1. And all we've been doing is chasing these guys around trying to hit them. Well, listen, they can enjoy and think about it all from Cancun on Wednesday. (laughs) Take a break. Back after this.